Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make peanut butter fudge. This fudge has a nice peanut flavor and it's smooth and creamy and just melt in, with a melt in your mouth texture. And it is what we would call a no cook fudge. And that simply means that we don't need to make sugar syrup so we don't need a uh, candy thermometer which makes it really easy to make. So the first thing we need to do is prepare our pan. You will need either, you could use an eight or a nine inch square baking pan, that's 20 or, or 23 centimeters, and you need to line it with uh, a piece of aluminum foil. So I'll show you how I do that. I turn my pan over, and then I just take my piece of foil, and then just press it on the outside of the pan to, to form it into that shape. And then take your foil off, Flip your pan over and then you can just press it in. Makes it a little easier. Now if you don't have foil, you could use wax paper. Just use two strips, place one this way and one this way and just kind of use it as a sling because we want to be able to take the uh, fudge out of the pan when it firms and then cut it and this will make it easy. So you want a little bit of an overlap of your foil. So there we go. And then you can either butter the foil or I'm just going to use, um, you know, cooking spray and just lightly spray it. So that's done. So this fudge, just five ingredients. Um, the first thing we need to do is melt butter with the peanut butter. Now you could do this in the microwave or I'm going to do it over, over uh, a saucepan of simmering water. So there's two ways. Now, if you're going to do it in the microwave, of course, make sure your bowl can go in the microwave. Um, on the stove, heat proof, either glass or you could use stainless steel. And have a saucepan uh, with a couple inches of water, about five centimeters, and just bring that up to a simmer. And then what we need is uh, one cup of smooth peanut butter, that's 240 milliliters, and just use your favorite brand. Most people do have a favorite brand of the peanut butter. Put that in there. Okay. And to that, I'm going to add one cup, which is about um, 230 grams of butter. You can use either salted or unsalted butter. And I just cut it into small pieces because we're going to melt this together. So melt, or cutting the butter into smaller pieces, it'll melt a lot easier and faster. And then I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I'm using the kosher salt. Now, if I was using salted butter here, um, then just leave off that salt. You don't need that. So then, now if you were doing it in the microwave, just um, put it on high one, two minutes, check it, stir it, and if it's not all, because we want this all melted together. So, you know, just do it in short bursts if you're doing it in the microwave. On the, on the stove here, I'm just going to melt this until it's all smooth. Okay, so it's... All melted. I'm just going to pour it into here just so you can really see what I'm doing. So it's simple enough. I mean, really, you could do it in the microwave just as easy. So then what I'm going to add is one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, just to bring, add a little uh, vanilla flavor. And then we're just going to fold in one pound of um, confectioner, you know, may know that as powdered or icing sugar, 450 grams, or in cups, that's four cups. And I'm just going to put that in there and mix it all together. Pretty simple. So what you have really is, this is just peanut butter. It's made a little richer um, in flavor with the butter and then sweeter with the sugar, but it really, you just have nice peanut flavor. Everyone seems to enjoy this, both kids and adults. This would be perfect um, to be part of your Christmas baking because, as you can see, it is so easy to make. 
and stores quite well in the refrigerator. Make it ahead of time. So anyways, just kind of mix it all, make sure all the sugar is mixed in. Now, of course, um, if you want to add, uh, I like just the smoothness of the uh, peanut butter, but you could add some maybe chopped peanuts if you would like, or maybe you want to add some uh, uh, chopped chocolate or chocolate chips, if you like that combination. So we're just going to do this into our pan. And then just take either the back of a spoon or I'm just using an offset spatula here. Or you can just use your fingers even. Really smell the peanut butter. You could also just sprinkle the top with some um, chopped peanuts or chocolate. Now this is going to be very thick. Like I said, you could use a nine inch pan or you could even, if you wanted just a thin um, layer of fudge, you could even put it in nine by 13. Yeah, I'm just going to use my fingers here. Now, as you can see, this is very soft. So what we're going to do is um, cover it and put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours until it becomes nice and firm and then we can cut it. So I'm just going to um, cover it with a piece of plastic wrap and put it in the fridge until it's firm. So now that our uh, peanut butter fudge has been chilled until firm, all that's left is for us to cut it into pieces. So just uh, take the sides of the aluminum foil and just lift it out of the pan. And then peel back the foil. And with a sharp knife, you can really cut this into any size pieces that you want. I find, because this is quite a rich fudge, I find one inch pieces is, is a nice size, which is about two and a half centimeters. So just a uh, sharp knife, cut through. You can see it goes through very easily. And uh, I always like to take a, a paper towel, clean dish towel, and just wipe off the peanut butter off the knife. And like I said, we can just cut that. And turn it. And you can just easily. You could put these, even those little tiny paper um, candy cups would be nice. You put them in there if you want. There you go. And uh, you can cover and store these in an airtight container for up to a week in the refrigerator. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski from DorothyBaking.com.